Here's a delicious chicken and butter bean casserole recipe that's perfect for this time of year. Developed in collaboration with these fantastic organisations. This dish is made from a few humble ingredients and is perfect all year round. You can swap in and swap out some ingredients and really make it your own dish. Once cooked it can also be cooled and transferred into a freezer container and frozen for between 1 and 3 months. Start by adding the chicken thighs to a clean bowl. You can also use chicken breast to dice chicken. Add half the oil. Add half the paprika. Give everything a good mix. Turn over and then add the other half of the paprika. Season with salt and pepper. Give everything a mix and then set aside. Wash your hands and let's prep the veg. Start by slicing the celery. Next, peel and finely slice the garlic. And peel and finely slice your onions. We're using red onions, but use whichever onions you have to hand. Place a large saucepan onto a medium heat, add in the rest of the oil, followed by the onions and cook for around about 2-3 to three minutes. Now add in the garlic and cook for a further minute. Next sprinkle the flour over the onions and garlic and give everything a good mix until it's combined. Once mixed, set aside in a clean bowl. Using the same pan, add the chicken pieces and cook for around about 1-2 to two minutes on either side and let's get these nice and golden. This will give them a lovely colour but also help to enhance the flavour. If you prefer, you can also use thighs with the skin on. The chicken should now be looking golden and smelling delicious. Once these have had a few minutes in the pan, simply transfer them into the slow cooker. Transfer in the onions and garlic mix. Pour in your stock. Add in the tomato puree. Add in the plum tomatoes. Give everything a little stir and then next add in that delicious celery. Place the lid on the slow cooker and then cook for two and a half to three hours. After a few hours, carefully remove the lid and add in the butter beans. Stir and replace the lid, cooking for around about 15 minutes. Then simply season to perfection and let's serve. I'm serving mine with some creamy mash, but you could also use rice or couscous. Laid over that delicious butter bean and tomato stew. And there you have it, finished with a little bit of flat leaf parsley, a perfect autumnal warming dish.